Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you the mirror filter that comes with Affinity Photo and in particular how you can use it with some text. Now I'm just going to quickly create some text. Just go over here to the type tool and just going to type some just random letters. Don't want to, nothing very uh, sophisticated. I'm just going to create a, another line. Because well, I want to, want to do is create a fair amount of text and I'm just going to select that. So just drag that out a bit and select that and now new line, new line, new line, new line and new line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that now with the mirror filter that comes with. Now, next thing to do, just go over there to the and of course you can set the font as required and I've just gone with that one but of course I could vary the font I can just quickly that's decent as well now what to do as long as you've actually got it selected that's the key thing here just select the actual type and then just go to filters sadly there is no live filter of this yet it'd be nice if there was but uh, the moment doesn't appear to be so now this would be one that would be great as a live filter so mirror now you'll notice the first effect of the mirror is just a single mirror so you can just see it there you can just move that down and you can see the, the text just go off the edge there now what you can do you can modify the inputs I'm not going to change those input and out but I'm going to do that in another video I'll just show the differences there but this one I'm just going to multiply the number of mirrors and you can just see just go say maybe seven and then what you can do you can actually just move the center point as well so you just move that around and now you can see the text is actually still really really sharp so it's actually creating that real time really super sharp text now you can move that around and of course you can modify a number of mirrors again you can go for say nine ten so straight away you can see with even a very basic font and some type you can actually create some interesting designs now what you can do once you've done that you can actually click apply and now you can what you can do you can go to filter and distort and mirror again now see so unfortunately it seems to actually just default always back to one it would be nice if it actually just remained as the numbers that it was before but it doesn't matter so you can just quickly change that and then you can move that around you can see you can really create a very intense mirrored image apply and again you can move that around now you also notice what happens it cuts off the edge so if you want to the best way to work with this is actually to just create the design fairly in the center but for this video you can just see the basic same sort of effect obviously you could create a 5000 by 5000 document and then have the text in the center and then create the design now what you can do now is go to filter and distort and again mirror and you can see now you've got it mirror again it goes back to one so you can just go down there numbers of mirrors and you can move that around until you're happy with the end result now another thing you can do once you've actually just I'm just going to get to that point you can actually also apply other effects so combine that with the mirror you can actually go to distort and I think this one's a really nice one deform you can actually deform the text so you just put some default points I'm just gonna click there one thing I would say with this is if you're gonna use deform it's probably best to actually have colored text because actually what happens is you the this actually disappears in the so it might be easier to see and you can actually just move deformation there and I'm just gonna distort the text in a number of ways I'm not going to go too extreme though it's pretty deep. and I can add another one and I can add another one over there so I can actually click one there and distort it up that way and maybe down there so I can then distort that off in that direction now now you've got this text you can still see the writing so obviously I've just typed you know some real gibberish there but uh, you could if you wanted to type something a bit more sensible maybe a paragraph of uh, 
a novel or something, you could put something more sensible. Now, what you can do then, you can just go to filter, filters, and distort and mirror, and then you've got the mirror again. And you can actually then just modify the mirror, mirror and move that down. And, just, and you've still got all those distortions, which you can change that. And now, of course, okay, apply. You've got the slight distortion there, but you can always go back. You can distort again, deform, and literally just apply them a number of times to really distort the text. Filter, and again, distort and mirror. Again, one, it goes back to one, and you can see the text there. Right, anyway, that's just a quick run through of the mirror tool, and that's using it with some type. And of course, like I say, you can have vast numbers of type. Of course, there's also many different types of type. You could actually have maybe decorative designs within the type. So you can see you can actually create many unusual things in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.